Okay, so what is your strategy? What is that one or two things marketing work, marketing team works constantly so that you're constantly able to retain your, what is that one or two point that you would like to share? Yeah, Jody. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so it, that's actually a very, very um, valid question because to we, again, we have our own e-commerce site as well yeah. as online partners and our boutiques. And we really try to see the pattern, if there was a different pattern over these past, you know, five months and, mm -hmm. and what was she looking for and how many times was she coming back and was she really only buying a sale item or was she looking at something, putting it in her cart and leaving? Mm -hmm. And we tried to be very creative. Um, mm -hmm. We sent out personal notes Mm -hmm. You know, we looked back at our consumers that purchased over the past 12 months and we sent them personal notes. We sent out, you know, some type of incentive. But to me, it's really just trying to understand what she's looking for yeah. and trying to understand what she's willing to spend. Mm -hmm. I think that... I think that when you look at some of the businesses that have not been able to survive, right? Mm -hmm. When you look mm -hmm. at some of the bigger stores that haven't been able to survive, unfortunately, during this time, True. and you look at the ones that have survived, yes. whether it's their online presence, whether it's the outreach, whether it's, you know, just the human touch that they've had, I very much feel that we have been able to keep her, keep our customer because we keep it so intimate wow. in, in the big scheme of things. And right. even when it comes to our online partners and our boutiques, you know, we, we really tried to be there for the consumer and mm -hmm. for the retail owner during this time, whether it was, you know, everybody's so quick to just send a text or send an email or DM on Instagram, but yes. we took the time to have Zoom appointments with our customers, even if it was just to say, hey, how are you doing? What's going on? You know, how, yes. how's the morale today? Yeah. Um, or picking up the phone. I think that, I think that we've lost a little bit of that human touch mm -hmm. and maybe this time has given us that opportunity to come back to it. So we've really embraced that. And I think that's helped us keep our buyers and our consumers um, coming back to us. Wow, that, that's amazing. I think, uh, yeah, the world, I mean, that, that's what the consumers are looking for. They need empathy. I mean, uh, they, they are the ones who are kind of, uh, kind of, they are perceiving the brand. I mean, they, they are not just buying because uh, there are brands so, which, which really pay very close attention to this aspect and that's why the consumers love it and that's how the brands are getting extremely high retention rate and mm -hmm. uh, that's how the brands can actually kind of have the best customer lifetime value just like in case of for example